Hello, friends. My name is Brent Craig, and I come to you from League City, Texas, just north of Galveston Island. And I'm helping a friend of mine list for sale his 2017 Cobia 280 DC with twin 2018 Yamaha F200 XCA outboards with 246 hours of peace on them, at least as of today. You'll find real quick that I am not a professional boat broker, a professional videographer, or a narrator for that matter. But we're going to do our best to bring uh, to you a video that represents this boat as honestly and accurately as we can, highlighting some of the features uh, and the benefits of this particular boat. And we would appreciate you reaching out if you have any interest at all. We are asking $175,000 for this boat, and it comes with a 2016 Ameritrail trailer. Now, we're happy to offer this uh, trailer uh, with the boat, and if you're interested, we'll put new tires all on the trailer for you. If you're just interested in the boat, not a problem. Uh, we're willing to, to, to talk to you and, and put together a deal either, either way, whichever, whichever is uh, beneficial for you. This is an original owner boat, meticulously kept with all the maintenance records. It is owned by a professional captain uh, who's chosen to make sure this boat gets washed every single week. So I think you'll find in the video as I start trying to do the best I can to, to show you the exterior of the boat, uh, the hull and the condition of the hull as it sits in its, in its sling outside of League City. You'll find the rub rail, rub rail with uh, stainless steel inserts in, in great shape. Uh, a fantastic captain uh, that's on this boat. So you're not going to find the traditional dings and hickeys that you might find on some of the other boats. You'll see the, the stainless steel anchor uh, on the Lumar windlass, and we'll show you the locker in, in a few minutes. Um, You'll find uh, a couple of blemishes on this boat. Uh, they're really just a couple of marks on the upholstery, and I'm going to show those to you on the video. And then one area that just has a very slight, slight tear in the uh, in the upholstery. Outside of that, um, you'll be hard pressed to find anything um, wrong with this this boat. The 280 dual console. Uh, really offers a ton of versatility for families who are trying to maximize uh, their investment on their new boat. It meshes together all the offshore fishing features with comfort and, and like I said, tons of versatility. It's really a boat for families who want to enjoy just about everything uh, on the water. The 27 foot 7 inch length overall with a 21 degree deep V hull, lets you safely venture outside the inlets. And once you get into some of the choppier waters, I think you'll be impressed with how smooth the ride is on this particular dual console. Which um, the layout actually offers some advantages I found over uh, a single uh, center console boat. For instance, uh, it's obvious the windshield goes entirely across the boat, stainless steel framed. Uh, tempered glass. Uh, once closed, it offers uh, a ton of protection for the entire aft cockpit. In addition, the consoles are positioned farther forward uh, than you would find on the same size center console boat, uh, which really opens up for just a ton of room astern. You combine the 9-foot, 8-inch beam on this boat um, it gives you 280 uh, on the on the D 280 DC. Uh, it gives you um, 93 inches by 62 inches long. 93 wide, 62 long gives you 40 square feet. So you can pack three guys back there fishing side by side working, and 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 you're not going to be you're not going to be frustrated at all. There's tons of room back there. Uh, all that space, um, all that extra space is awesome for entertaining. Um, 
This boat features the optional hideaway bench seats with the standard fold-out transom bench seat and then with the aft dining table and all the seating you got forward in the bow, you're, uh, you're going to find um, you can really host a ton of people on this boat. As we hop up on the boat here in just a couple of minutes, um, you're going to see the port side seating offers uh, tons of versatility also. It easily converts from a back-to-back -back chair set up to uh, a comfortable lounger. You'll see underneath these loungers, and I'll, I'll break it all down in a few minutes and show it to you with everything tucked away, but you can see how much seating you got in the back, how much comfort there is. This hardtop also comes with a retractable awning. Uh, so if you're looking for shade for the folks sitting in the back, you're gonna you're not gonna be disappointed whatsoever. I'm just kind of showing you just a little blemish there. That one kind of wiped away. You do have a 25 gallon live well with a macerator back uh, on the port quarter of the boat with your walkthrough um, on the other side on the starboard quarter side. And again, I'm just gonna try to point out everything on this boat. Uh, including a couple, that's just a, a mark. Um, you will see just one little tear right there. That's the only tear in any of this upholstery anywhere. It is in fantastic shape. A really good looking boat. There's uh, there's 148, I believe, a quart cooler that's underneath this, this seat right here that can either be made into a lounger or back-to-back -back seating either way. You got a faux granite countertop, uh, sink, cooler, Tons of storage on this boat. There's plenty of elbow room in the back, and I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, for five trolling lines off the back, three uh, three of your buddies side by side, like I said, uh, fishing without any problems off the back. 41 gallon fish lockers underneath um, in the in the back as well. This wide beam is going to give you the stability you're looking for uh, while you're out trolling on the water. Um, and it also comes with padded uh, coming bolsters surrounding the aft cockpit so you don't bruise your thighs up. You're going to see the suite of uh, electronics on this boat, including autopilot, power assist assisted uh, tilt steering, uh, twin uh, tabs. You've got dual nine inch screens, uh, bottom finder, autopilot, I think I might've mentioned. You got every electronic I think you'd want on this boat already equipped. You've got a forward facing head that I'm gonna show you in just a minute that has never been used. Uh, I find it's important to share that with you. Five flush mount rod holders across the transom keep the sticks uh, secure while underway but also serve as trolling rod holders. Um, for the center flat line, um, flat lines fished, and then uh, from plane or secured to the stainless steel pull-up cleats uh, on each of the stern, stern corners. And you'll find all this in the video uh, as we go through. I mentioned the 25 gallon live well in the back of the boat. Um, now the 280 comes standard with um, gunnel rod holders, uh, two on each side. But again, we opted for the optional hideaway uh, side bench seats, uh, and that prevents the installation of the, of the two gunnel rod holders on each side. But Cobia certainly makes up for it and compensates for it by giving us three um, angled rod holders along the aft stanchions of the, uh, the fiberglass hardtop that you'll see throughout the video as well. In the four peak of this boat, you'll find two compartments. One houses the anchor locker with a Lumar windlass stainless steel, um, an in stem chute with a roller and a raw water wash down hose. Now the second compartment houses a removable uh, boarding ladder for the bow. It mounts to a pair of sockets, which allow your guests to easily climb in and out when pulled up on shore. 
at the helm, you got a flip up bolster seat. Uh, if you want to stand up while you're underway and, and use it, use it as a leaning post. We've got Aquamat uh, removable decking. It is a gray faux teak. Blue underwater lights. Four hot hard top speakers uh, with amplifier. You've got the uh, the hard top with electric box and an upgraded light bar. You can see how clean this boat is. I hope that comes through on this video. This comes with a built-in retractable sunshade awning. I mentioned I think already. Uh, fusion stereo with eight speakers, trim tab indicators, fresh and raw water wash down, um, six rod, rod holders uh, on the T-tops. I'm going to spend a little bit of time um, putting away all the, the bench seating, kind of showing you how much space is back here, how much storage is back here, um, your fish lockers that are uh, in the back as well. There's the, the, the water, the wash downs in the back. And guys, again, we're asking $175,000 for this boat uh, with the trailer. If you don't need the trailer, let's talk about that. Uh, we are entertaining um, reasonable reasonable offers. Certainly not looking uh, to give this boat away. Um, it's been well kept. We do have our eye on the next boat. So that's kind of why this one's up on the market. Please reach out to us. Uh, we're happy to engage in any dialogue with you guys. I hope you found this video not too painful and um, represented as, as accurately as we possibly could. Again, Brent Craig, and you can find me at Brent at BrentCraig.com, and you'll find this boat on uh, Boat Trader as well.